This man is scratching his face in his sleep. His wife rushed to stop him, but when she woke up the next morning, the wife saw her husband's face was scratched to shreds. There was blood all over his hands, even on the quilt and the floor. What's even more frightening is that the next night, the husband suddenly sat at the end of the bed and said someone had come in. Then he lay down and went to sleep. The wife thought it was a simple dream. Suddenly, she heard a banging sound outside the door. She was startled, but she couldn't wake her husband up. The wife went out of the room cautiously. The door to the balcony was blocked by a slipper. She collected the slipper, but the other slipper was on her husband's foot. In the morning, the wife told her husband what happened during the night. The husband went to work without paying attention. In the evening, the wife was worried that her husband would scratch her face again. He put a pair of gloves on her husband to sleep. She continued to work overtime. Suddenly her husband got up from the bed. He went to the living room. The wife followed him. She saw him eating raw meat from the refrigerator. She tried to stop him, but it was no use. It was disgusting. While the wife was vomiting, the husband gulped down tap water. Then he opened the window and jumped out. The wife was terrified. She rushed to pull her husband back. When he came to his senses, he was shocked. The wife saw a child's hand in the bone broth. She suspected that her husband had boiled her child in the bone broth. She hurriedly poured out the soup and frantically searched for the child. At this time, her husband came out of the toilet with the baby in his arms. He saw his wife's hand burning red. He put down the baby and rushed to help her to cool down. Then he went to get ice. The wife took the opportunity to knock the husband out and tied him up. The husband thought his wife was crazy and explained that he'd go to the doctor. In fact, the doctor thought the man's sleepwalking was cured, but since she gave birth, she's been worried about the baby. At night, she hides in the toilet with the baby in her arms. She's scared to death when she hears the door opening. When there's no more noise outside, she comes out and sees her husband peeing in the crib. This time she was devastated. She didn't dare to sleep the whole night. In the morning, her husband saw her with red eyes. He asked her to sleep. She didn't expect to sleep through the night. She had a dream. She dreamed that the baby was missing from the crib. There was a baby crying outside. She rushed to look for him. She found the baby's hand in the trash can. She was so scared that she woke up suddenly. But there was no baby in the crib. She thought her husband had a seizure and cooked the baby.